Muy bien, mijo. Can you help us with a song? Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be always with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Happy Monday of the fifth, fifth week of Easter. As we journey to Pentecost, we encourage to embrace the Lord in a very special way. Every day, every Sunday, every moment. Now we may know that the Lord is bringing our lives, our planet, everything that he had created to his fulfillment. And with that stand of faith, we want to celebrate today's Mass and bring in your, your personal intentions. Today we want to pray for the special intention of the Garcia and Carmosta families. And with them, we want to pray for all our church in each one of you, that God may bless your hearts and strengthen your faith and give you encouragement. So let us begin acknowledging our weakness and the power that we receive from our loving God in, in his grace. Lord, had mercy. Christ, had mercy. Lord, had mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and take us to everlasting life. Amen. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Philip and James Apostles. So in their memory, let us come together as we're called to give our lives for the one who gained heaven for us. O oh God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the apostles, Philip and James, grant us to their prayers a chair in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold there for eternity. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received, in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, and lest you believed in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried. And he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared, he appeared to Saphos and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James and then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. The word of the Lord. Their message goes out through all the earth. 
Your message, message goes out, out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out of the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. Philip, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him, and I and have seen him. Philip said to, the, to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still don't know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show me the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who has dwelt in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and I will do, and will do greater ones than this, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Aren't we like Philip in today's Gospel sometimes? We just want a little bit more than what God gives us. Jesus just got through telling Thomas that Jesus and the Father are in each other. Do we have faith? And if we do, do we use it? God gave us faith because of his grace and his mercy. 
because He loves us so much. Faith comes from God, but it's a form of a gift. We Catholics believe that faith and good works are part of our total salvation package. Why? Because in how we treat people, in how and what to do with our money, and where we devote our time and energy demonstrates what our priorities are. Our actions reveal our hearts. Our activities communicate who we are and what we care about more clearly than any claims we make. If we have faith in Jesus, we must do his works. Jesus tells us in Matthew 25, if we want to really follow Jesus, we will want to do the works he did. At the end of our days here on earth, Jesus will ask every one of us, do you feed me when I was hungry? Do you give me a drink when I was thirsty? Do you visit me? Do you visit me when I was sick or in prison? Do we see Jesus in our brothers and sisters in need? Do we see Jesus in the immigrants in our borders, in the homeless, in the mentally challenged, in our seniors that are homebound? If we do, we should be moved to put our faith in action. It doesn't have to be huge. Simply pick up the phone and call someone who lives alone and just say, Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Do you need help with anything? That, brothers and sisters, is how we can be Jesus to our neighbors. Just with a simple phone call then we can say to him when we meet our Lord face to face, yes, Lord, I did those things for you. We can start small and make it a habit of treat, to treat all people as Jesus. I like to meditate on the ways others have been Jesus to me. It helps me to remember and be grateful. Eight years ago, after my stroke, I struggled with a lot of challenges. One was my balance. My body always veered to the left. So my wife will take me to Prince of Peace Abbey to walk the Stations of the Cross. One of those visits to Prince of Peace Abbey, my wife asked Brother Benedict, God bless his soul, that I wanted to be blessed. So after Mass, Brother Benedict called me and bless me. Brothers and sisters, I was healed instantly. Instantly. And all I believe that if I touch the cloak of Jesus, I will be healed. Brother Benedict was Jesus for me that day. The challenge is how we will be Jesus for someone today.
may Jesus be in our hearts. Amen. Embracing the words that our brother Victor has delivered to us, let us pray in confidence with that faith that only God gives. Faith that restores, that brings wholeness and healing and perspective to our lives. So in confidence, let us put our petitions in the heart of our merciful Father. For the church, may God bless her shepherds with all the wisdom of their apost uh, apostolic forebears. Let us pray to the Lord. For all our leaders, may God inspire them not to speak or act on their own, but to do His will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those sick in mind or body, may God console and provide for them. Let us pray to the Lord. For those gathered here, may the gospel we have received keep us firm in faith and good works. Let us pray to the Lord. For our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the light of Christ, may Jesus bring them safely into his Father's house. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the special intentions of the Garcia and Cremosta families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the petitions that we hold in the quiet of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please be seated and prepare our gifts.
situation to you and ask me how this way to offer. Push with the house, give me give me hands that way. Let's be calm for us, our better life. Blessed is you, God of our creation, to you as we have this wine to offer, food of the vine and work of human hands. Blessed is you become for us our spiritual drink. Receive, O oh Lord, the sacrifice, the sacrifice may be accepted of you, Almighty Father. And purify me, O Lord, from my sins, that I may celebrate this sacred ministry with dignity of heart. Pray, may brothers and sisters, as your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Praising the rest. For the good and the good of all the church, amen. Receive, O oh Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the apostles Philip and James, and bestow on us religion pure and undefiled. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift out your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just. I wish you always give you thanks, most holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, Watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed as shepherds to lead in your name and in behalf of your Son. And so with the angels and archangels and all the dominions in heaven, we join in, in singing the, the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, and the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by the power of your Holy Spirit, so it may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. At the night, Gather with the apostles when he was going to give his life to set us free. He took bread, gave you thanks and praise, broke it and gave it to them and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body that will be given up for you. When the supper had ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Took the cup and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Brothers and sisters, the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of your son's death and resurrection, we offer your Father this bread of life and the chalice of eternal blessing. And we thank you for kindness worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. We humbly pray that our partaking in this one bread and this one cup that we may be gathered always by the Holy Spirit. Father in heaven, we pray for your church and all your children scattered throughout the world, that you may bring us in unity and love with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, our clergy, deacons, and your entire holy people gathered here. And as you have gathered us on this table, Father, we also want to pray for our faithful departed, our brothers and sisters, so loved and so missed, that have achieved the grace and the new life that you have promised us. May their prayers reach us here on earth, 
that we may be faithful to your commands in our faith. And when that pilgrimage on earth has concluded, call us to be with you, with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Apostles, Philip, Thomas, and the saints, St. Francis of Assisi and St. Clair, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may be coherent to eternal life and praise you and glorify you to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh, glory and honor, yours, our mighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand, brothers and sisters, with confidence as children of God. Let us call upon our Father as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And lead us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Let us give you a sign of eternal peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Take away. May your eyes be open on the breaking of the bread. That in every Mass, in every Eucharist, you may be open your eyes and your hearts to see the glory of God working in your midst. And this is Jesus, our risen Lord. He's the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we for being called to the Supper of the Lamb. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ take us to our lasting life. Please join me in, with the act of spiritual communion to join and connect with our brothers and sisters who are celebrating with us at Eucharist Online. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never allow me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts that we have received so that contemplating you in your Son, together with the apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you that when you come to Mass, to please wear your masks and practice social distancing. It's the policy of our diocese and the policy here in our church. I know that those who have been fully vaccinated have been told that you, in some areas you uh, cannot wear the mask. If you're by yourself in a park, walking on the street. But every time we are indoors and gather with people, we need to wear our masks. So I want to kindly ask you to do that, please, for the safety of everybody. Let us go in peace to serve the Lord and one another. Are you grace it? Yeah, give you a final blessing, I think. No? no? May the, my Lord, yes, sorry about that. And may the Lord bless you and accompany you always and give you his protection, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I apologize for that.